It's one of the largest cities in the United States, and it's famous for many things, including the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, and cable cars galore. But here's something you probably didn't know about San Francisco. Some parts of the city are actually made from ships. In January 1848, a carpenter named James Wilson Marshall discovered flakes of gold in the Sierra Nevada mountains and sparked one of the largest migrations in U.S. history. As people from across the globe flocked to California, hoping to strike it rich. The gold rush, as it came to be known, had a significant impact on the American landscape, not least in the port town of San Francisco, where the population was exploding by approximately a thousand people a week in 1849. With the arrival of so many people, land and housing was in short supply. So the authorities decided to use whatever was available from the nearly 1,000 abandoned ships that clogged up the bay. Wooden planks, nails, and a forest of masts were reused across the city. Anchored ships were deliberately sunk and trapped in place forever. The Niantic, a vast whaler, was repurposed on the expanding waterfront as a warehouse and store before burning down in 1851, and then rebuilt on the old ship's foundation as the Hotel Niantic. In just two years, more than 200 ships and their materials were converted into prisons, offices, churches, even asylums for those believed to have mental health conditions. Today, the skeletons of no fewer than 40 ships are entombed beneath the San Francisco streets. People walk right over them every day, unaware of the history buried right beneath their feet. Every year, millions of people use San Francisco's metro railcar system to get around town. But few will know that it passes straight through the hull of the Rome, a huge Russian transport ship that sank in 1852. While the Old Ship Saloon, one of the oldest bars in the city, incorporates part of the Arkansas, a classic schooner that came from New York. In what ways can the migration of people and the repurposing of resources impact how we develop cities today?